and, uh, and we'll pull up uh, voice mode. So let's try this out. Hey ChatGPT, how are you? Hey there, I'm good, thanks for asking. How about you? I'm great, uh, I'm on stage here at VivaTech. Can you say a few words to uh, welcome the attendees? Absolutely. Hello, Viva Tech attendees! It's fantastic to connect with so many brilliant minds and innovators. I really like what you started, but could you make it even more alive and a bit more excited, as if you were talking to a large, large audience of amazing founders? Absolutely. Hello, Viva Tech attendees! Are we ready to ignite the spark of innovation and set the tech... Thank you, I think they really enjoyed that. That's awesome to hear. If there's anything else I can help with or add some excitement to, just let me know. So the first thing to notice here in this experience, like first, extremely low latency. It's amazing to talk to ChatGPT in real time. Um, the second thing to, to note is that I can now interrupt the model in real time. I don't really have to wait for the entire audio to finish. I can just re-engage in the conversation whenever I feel like. And the third thing that you might have noticed as well is that now understands tones and can generate tones as well. So when I was trying to get ChatGPT to be more engaged, more excited, that in turn changed the, the audio output. And of course you have all of the amazing reasoning capabilities behind the scenes, which means I can use this for like an immense amount of use cases, like for instance, say real-time translation. Let's try this. Hey ChatGPT, um, I'm here at VivaTech, but I'd like to use uh, to act as a translator. So, can you translate everything I say in English back to French and vice versa? Salut, bien sûr, je peux faire ça. Dis-moi simplement ce que tu veux dire et je le traduirai pour toi. Uh, what do you think is going to be your favorite sports at the Olympics? Qu'est-ce que tu prévois? What could be your favorite sport at the Olympics? À ton avis, quel sera ton sport préféré aux Jeux Olympiques? So see, you can really use it in real time. And we're still, of course, making progress on the French accent here. Um, but um, it's really interesting to see how you can use these experiences for uh, education of, of any kind of use cases, like traveling and real time use case. Um, but the second thing that I also wanted to show you beyond the voice capabilities was also the vision capabilities. So I've never done this before on the Mac app because I was supposed to show you this to you on um, on iPhone, but I'm just going to try it anyway. So let's go ahead. Hey, ChatGPT, I'd love your help to navigate around the city. So I'm going to draw something and I'll show it to you. Does that sound good? Sure thing. Go ahead and draw what you need and I'll do my best to help you navigate around the city. All right, give me a moment. No rush. Take your time. He's patient. I'm right here when you're ready. All right, so I'm gonna turn on the camera here. Got it, ready when you are. So what do you see? Looks like you've drawn the Eiffel Tower and the Arc de Triomphe, two iconic Parisian landmarks. How can I help you with them? That's pretty awesome. Thank you for uh, understanding my bite drawings. Uh, yeah, so I'd like to have your help to navigate there and I'll show you a map here. Um, it looks like we are at Port de Versailles right here. Got it. You're starting at Porte de Versailles. To get to the Eiffel Tower, you can take the Metro Line 12, M12, from Porte de Versailles to Concorde, then switch to Line 8, M8, towards Ballard, and get off at École Militaire. From there, it's a short walk to the Eiffel Tower. Awesome. To reach the Arc de Tri... I think I got this sorted. Thank you. You're welcome. You. Have a great time ex Uh, is 